أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفركان صدق الله صدق الله المران عزيم ما دي يا برادران السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in the English language there is a riddle so lughz uhjiya a riddle which says what is stranger than sending coal to Newcastle Newcastle is a city in England where coal is mined and it would be a strange thing for people to export coal to Newcastle but the question is, the riddle is, what is stranger than that? And a modern answer to that riddle is sending oil to Arabia, meaning to the Arab countries. It's stranger than sending coal to Newcastle. Now, I, as a Muslim, from the southmost tip of Africa, nearest to the South Pole, I am coming here to Arab lands, to Muslims who were originally where Islam started from and I am coming to tell them something about Ramadan and in telling them so I have quoted a verse from the Holy Quran from Surah Al-Baqarah that is chapter 2 verse 185 for the non-Muslims watching this program how can they have access to such a verse the first method is that you ask any Muslim and if he tells you about a surah, surah meaning chapter, and he says, Baqarah, in this volume, which was presented to me by the Presidency of Islamic Courts and Affairs in your city of Doha, Qatar, in this volume of a translation of the Holy Quran, if you open the index, right at the back end of this volume is an index under B, you will find Baqarah and if you look up, Baqarah means chapter 2. So you open chapter 2, you get to verse 185 and you will get this verse about Ramadan, the month of fasting. It says, Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed. Hudal lin nasi, in it is guidance for mankind, not only for the Arabs. Not only for the Indonesians, not only for the Pakistanis, but for the whole of mankind. Hudallin Nasi, Wabayinatim Min al Huda Wal Furkan. And it is a fuller explanation of the, the revelation of God and a guidance and as a discrimination, as a standard of judging right from wrong. This is the Quran, the final revelation of God Almighty to mankind. So month, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed. And two verses before this one, in verse 183, we are told, Ya yuhal ladhin amanu, say, O you who believe, O men of faith, Ya yuhal ladhin amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyamu, kama kutiba ala ladhin min qablikum. Says, fasting has been ordained for you, has been prescribed for you, as it, is, as it had been prescribed for those before you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That ye may learn self-restraint. That ye may learn discipline. The purpose of fasting, we find here, told to us by God Almighty, is not just to starve ourselves, but that we may learn self-discipline. And there is nothing new in this. It is not entirely something novel that God Almighty had ordained this system of fasting for the previous religious systems in Judaism the, the religion as taught by Moses fasting was prescribed in the religion as preached by Jesus Christ Hazrat Isa alayhi salam fasting was prescribed and we read in the Christian scriptures in what is called the New Testament in English that Jesus Christ he told his disciples that when you fast do not fast as the hypocrites do they do not wash their faces and they do not brush their hair. But when you fast, you must wash your face and brush your hair. 
of a happy countenance that nobody knows that you are fasting because you are fasting for the love of God. So in Islam, this is one of the major principles, pillars of Islam. And the Muslim, he looks forward to this holy month of Ramadan. And the Ramadan of the Muslim, the holy month of fasting, is counted according to a lunar calendar. We in the West, people in the West, we have a Gregorian solar calendar based on the movement of the sun, 365 and a quarter day, a year, and another 365 and a quarter, and another 365 and a quarter, and at the fourth turn of the earth around the sun, they add a day, which means they have a lunar, they have add what is called in February, they add an extra day. Now, in Islam, Allah Bari Ta'ala, God in His mercy, what He has done is that by giving us a lunar calendar for working out our days and our counting for our religious festivals, it has made it possible for mankind to have a fair chance of experiencing all the seasons of the year. For example, that if it was a solar calendar, then in the West, for example in England, which is a western country, north of the southern, of the, equate, of the equator, in that, if Ramadan was around Christmas time, in December, like they say the birth of Jesus Christ was in December, they have a white Christmas, means always it is midwinter. In our case, if Ramadan was to come, instead of December, we say Ramadan, then every year, year in and year out, it would have been a, a midwinter for fasting, and people in the south of the equator, it would have been in midsummer, like in my country, South Africa, we would be having midsummer throughout our experience, and the western man would be having midwinter throughout his experience, and fasting in winter and fasting in summer are not equal. There is a vast difference between these two. Fasting in summer is no doubt more strenuous, it is more tiring, more trying, than fasting in winter. Then in winter, in the West, they have very, very long days and very, very short nights. Then we have very, very long days and uh, very short days in, in winter and very, very long nights. So in other words, it would be very unfair, very unjust to work on a system of that nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, in His wisdom, in His mercy, He has given us this lunar calendar for working out this holy month of Ramadan. And we Muslims, we fast from before sunrise to sunset. Before dawn, we can have a little breakfast. And the whole day, from, morning, from, from, from sunrise up to sunset, not even a sip of water, no smoking, no sniffing, and other normal relationship which might exist between let's say the husband and the wife, even those relationships of uh, satisfying your sexual needs are forbidden. And it is a great discipline. And the only witness to this system of fasting is God Almighty Himself. And we are told in the books of Hadith that Allah Bari Ta'ala, He Himself will reward the faithful, the one who has fasted from His own presence. Because the Muslim has done this for the love of God only. And nobody is a witness to this. Because in the privacy of one's own home, from the cool refrigerator, he can take out water and he can drink. Who is a witness to that? Nobody except Allah. So with the fear of Allah, the love of Allah, this makes the Muslim to obey this pillar of Islam.